Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Jules Giang. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. Muli namin kayong iniimbitahan for another season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Kaya samahan niyo kami until the final week of competition dahil may tatanghalin na naman na isang panibagong K-Check champion. That's right. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Miguel is a student of Bulacan State University, majoring in theater. He is also a playwright and a poet. Seb is a student of Bulacan State University. His interests include playing online games, choreographing, and freestyle dance, particularly in walking and fem. Parang alam na natin may tatanungin tayo mamaya. Yes, sample. <laughs> and of course, we have Rain, uh, a tourism student of UP Diliman. She loves watching TV and movie franchises like The Hunger Games and The Game of Thrones. And Alec is a student of De La Salle University. He currently studies business management and his hobbies are playing instruments and photography. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First off, Professor Niels Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. We also have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. And last but not least, Professor To Austria of the College of Fine Arts, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, good luck as we go into our first round. Get ready to buzz in. Your correct answers are worth 10 points each. Let's begin. Let's begin round one. Question number one. What do you call the decrease in areas where trees grow across the world that are lost for other uses, such as agricultural croplands, urbanization, or mining activities? Alec. Deforestation. Deforestation is correct. K-check. Question number two. What animal is referred to by the adjective canine? Alec. Dog. Dog is correct. K-check. Question number three. What day of the week did the Department of Education designate as the day to foster reading habits among learners starting January 2024? Alec? Wednesday? Is wrong. Rain? Friday. Friday is the correct answer. K-check. Question number four. In astronomy, what planet in the solar system is closest to the sun? Rain. Jupiter. Mali. Alec. Uranus. Mali. Seb. Saturn. Ilang planets na lang ang naiiwan? Mali. Miguel! Earth po. Mali. You're only allowed one chance. Walang forever. The correct answer is Mercury. Question number five. On what island can you find Davao, Surigao, and Cotabato? Alec. Mindanao. Mindanao is correct. K-check. Question number six. In a compass, what direction is directly opposite west? Alec. East. East is correct. K-check. Question number seven. What chemical element has the symbol CL? Seb. Chlorine. Chlorine is correct. 
Okay, check. Question number eight. In the calendar, in what month is half a year after December 15? Rain. June 15. The answer is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine, taken from the Italian word meaning above. What is the highest of the four standard singing voices? Alec? Soprano. Parang ako lang. Soprano. Okay, check. Question number 10, mental math, guys. What is 26% of 50? Si Alec lang yata ang gumagana ang buton. Alec? 20. 20. Mali. Seb? 24. Mali. Miguel? 32. Mali. Ay! Ano ba 26% of 50 is 13. Question number 11. In sports and games, particularly darts, how many numbers are there in a standard dartboard as arranged by Brian Gamlin? Uh, Alec. 180. Malik. Uh, Rain. 240. Malik. Uh, Miguel. 100. Mali. Yes, Seb? 80. Mali. Mukhang walang nagda-dart sa ating mga contestants. There are 20 numbers in a standard dartboard. Last but not least, question number 12. Which durable British singer-songwriter who first recorded songs in 1968 Alec. Elton John. Which durable British singer-songwriter who first recorded songs in 1968 teamed up for Cold Heart with Dua Lipa and Hold Me Closer with Britney Spears? Elton John is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for our first round. Thank you so much, Attorney Gabby. So after that round, we have Alec in the lead with 60 points. Followed by Rain at 20 points, Seb at 10 points, and Miguel. With a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> oh, sa ngayon, may tanong daw si Prof to kay Seb. Uh, pareho kaming nasa arts, uh, field of mm -hmm. arts. May sinabi siya tungkol sa fem and uh, walking and fem, freestyle and dance. Uh, pwede mo bang ibagi sa amin kung ano yung walking and fem? The floor is open. <laughs> Oo. Uh -oh. um, yung walking po kasi is uh, form of Ano siya, genre po siya na para puro kamay lang po siya. And poses po. Pero magkaiba po siya sa Vogue and Yung Wack po. Okay. okay. So, ngayon, ang papakita mo ay Yung Wacking. Wacking. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Ito po yung Wacking. Ah. Okay. Yan ang ano. I-tiktok I -tik thread natin yan. The paycheck dance. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ikaw naman. I-check <laughs> lang. I-check. Okay. So, mamaya, kakusapin din natin iba pang mga contestants para, siyempre, mas makilala natin sila. Pero bago yan, paghahandaan na muna nating lahat ang round 2. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-check. pa rin ang ating karunungan check with Alec in the lead with 60 points, Rain at 20, Seb at 10, and Miguel with a lot of catching up to do at 0 points. Right. At meron din palang gustong ipagawa si Professor Neil kay Miggy. Ano ba yun, sir? Well, alam mo, Miguel, nung huling season, wala kami, hindi namin pinalampas sa mga makatang contestant. Dapat sila magbigay ng sample. 
Pwede bang pasample naman dyan? Yes po, ano, nagsusunod lang po ako ng tula, pero babawi niya po ako pag nanalo po ako dito. Treasure naman pala eh. Sarali lang, parang gusto ng look. Pwede naman mga ilang lines lang. Pwede. Ano lang po eh. Mahal. Mga ganun lang po. One line na yun. Yun na yung one line. Tapat na yung mahal daw dapat. O at least walang free pass. Salamat Miguel. Mas maiksi pa sa haiku ang kanyang re-recite today. And so it's now time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure to strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Welcome to round two. Let's begin. Question number one. Bong Joon-ho won the U.S. Academy Award for Best Director in 2020. Parasite. Let me continue the question. The question actually is, what film did he direct that won as Best Picture that same year? The answer is Parasite. Kate check. Question number two. On April 1942, in what Luzon Peninsula or province did the Allied forces surrender to the Japanese during World War II? The answer is Bataan. Nobody got the correct answer. Question number three. What term refers to the variety of life on Earth? at all its levels, including terrestrial, marine, and desert ecosystems. Malek. Species? Species is Malek. Anyone can steal? Okay, nobody got the correct answer. The answer is biodiversity. Question number four. What waterway that cuts through Central America connects the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Panama Canal. Question 5. Which Olympic champion won the gold medal in the women's 55kg division at the 2022 Southeast Asian Games? Heidelin Diaz. Heidelin Diaz is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What term literally means moving backward, as in planets in astronomy or a melody in music? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is retrograde. Question number seven. What doll? Did Ruth Handler introduced to the world in 1959? Alec. Barbie. Let me uh, continue the question. In 1959, that has sold over a billion pieces since. The answer is Barbie. Correct. K check. Number eight. In basketball, what popular term is given to the quick attack to the basket after getting a defensive rebound or steal? Miguel. Layup is... Layup? Layup is mali. Anyone would like to steal? None? Okay. Sige, what's the answer? Turnover. Turnover is mali. Okay. The correct answer should be fast break. Okay. Question number nine. Named after a spinning top in French, what do you call a machine for producing continuous power in which a rotor with veins is made to revolve by a fast-moving flow of water or steam? Hindi pumasok. The answer is turbine. Okay, nobody got the correct answer. Number 10. What human body part lends its name to the center of a storm or typhoon? Rain. I. I is correct. Okay, check. Number 11. In music, what is the popular term for a group of four musicians, especially those with string instruments? Alec. Quartet. Quartet is correct. Okay, check. 
Last question, number 12. In physics, what is defined as the push or pull of an object that, with mass, causes it to change its velocity? Said. Force. Force is correct. Key check. That ends our round number two. Now to find out how our contestants did after that round. We have Alec leading by 120 points, followed by Rain with 40 points, Seb with 30, and Miguel with a lot of catching up mm -hmm. to do with negative 10. Pero siyempre, hindi pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. At welcome back to K-Check, Prof. Marla. May tanong ka daw para kay Rain. Yes, Rain. Tourism major ka, di ba? Can you tell me what your dream is? Ano bang balak mo with that degree under your belt? My dream po is to travel the world with my family po and my friends. Sounds wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rain. At siyempre, isa pa natin contestant si Alex. Sabi mo sa bio mo na you play instruments, pero hindi mo nabaget kung anong instrument yan. Ano ba yun, Alex? Yung guitar. The guitar. guitar. Yes. Anong song ang favorite mong i-play? Um, usually mga rock song, pero this is one song I really like. It's called Say It Ain't So by Weezer. It's a rock song in the 90s. At siyempre, ngayon, balikan muna natin yung scores ng ating mga contestants. Ang ating guitarista na si Alec ay leading with 120 points. Si Ray naman with 40 points, si Seb with 30, and si Miguel with negative 10 at ahabol siya sa ating next round. Isn't that a Hall and Oats song? <laughs> Say it isn't so. Isn't that a Hall and, Hall and Oats song? It's, uh, it's different because it's a uh, Say it ain't so. Okay. YouTube natin. Tingnan natin Spotify. Diba? Anyway. <laughs> Wrong ang aking iniisip. <laughs> Pero sa round na to, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. At para mas alisto ang ating contestants, sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Alright, so good luck to all of you. Let's begin. This is K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Sir Neil, go ahead. Ito yung unang tanong, sa anong panahon sa kasaysayan ng Japan nagsimula ang tradisyon ng shogunate o shogunato? A. Asuchi Momoyama B. Kamakura C. Muromachi D. Nara E. Yayoi Nakabatay ang pangalan ng panahong ito sa lugar kung saan matatagpuan ang himpilan no headquarters ng shogunatong Minamoto mula 1185 hanggang 1333. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Kamakura. Environmental Science What term refers to the long-term alteration in Earth's climate often attributed to human activities such as burning fossil fuels and deforestation? A. Global warming B. Weather variability C. Climate fluctuation D. Climate change E. El Nino phenomenon Rain D. Climate change Such shifts can also be natural due to changes in the sun's activity or large volcanic eruptions. The correct answer is D. Climate change. K-check. Thank you. Doctor, go ahead. In the gestalt psychology or gestalt perception, this brain hemisphere uh, deals with the visual and non-verbal information. It is holistic and is partial, grouping information into holes, as in, in gestalt, based upon the relationships. A, left brain hemisphere. B, right brain hemisphere. C, hypothalamus. D, frontal, frontal lobe of the brain, and E, all of the above. Brain. D, frontal lobe of the brain. 
Mali. Alec. B. Right brain hemisphere. Right brain hemisphere is correct. A check. Congratulations. Next, Renil. What was the name of the domestic programs launched by U.S. President Lyndon Baines Johnson in the 1960s? A. Great Society. B. New Deal. C. New Era. D. Republican Rebirth. E. Vision 1970. Nakatoon ang mga programa ni Pangulong Johnson upang matugunan ang kahirapan, maisulong ang kapaligiran at mapalakas sa mga proyekto sa kalusugan at kalunsuran. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Great Society. Prof. Marla. What is the main component of the Earth's core? A. Iron B. Nickel C. Silicon D. Oxygen E. Lead Miguel B. Nickel Mali Rain A. Iron other elements that are found in the Earth's core include gold, cobalt, platinum, and sulfur. The correct answer is A, iron. K, check. Stop, stop. In the physical nature of life, these colors are considered primary colors. A, CMYK. B, red, yellow, and blue. C, red, white, and blue. D, red, green, and blue. E, none of the above. Alec. D, red, green, and blue. Tama. A check. Thank you. Prof. Neil. What year did the Philippine Revolution start or begin? A. 1872 B. 1892 C. 1896 Alec. B. 1892 Mali. Okay. ko ang mga pagpipilian. C. 1896 D. 1898 E. 1899 Miguel A. 1872 Mali Seth Letter D po Mali Rain C. 1896 Pinangunahan ni Andres Bonifacio ang himagsikang Pilipino Lumawak ito sa iba't ibang parte ng bansa um, para sa lang sa kabatiran ng mga nakikinig at nanonood, 1872, pagpas lang sa paring bursa, 1892, tinatag ang katipunan. 1898, uh, taon na nagdeklara ng kalayaan. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, 1896, K-check. Thank you. Prof. Marla. Which invasive plant species often found in tropical regions like the Philippines is known for its rapid growth, dense thickets, and ability to smother native vegetation. A. Water hyacinth B. Jade vine C. Purple loose strife D. Japanese knotweed E. Spider lily Rain B. Jade vine Mali Seb Letter A po this floating plant has clusters of leaves with spongy stalks arising from a base of dark purple feathery roots. The correct answer is A, water hyacinth. Okay, check. Yan po yung marami sa Pasig River, no? Prof. Do? In the 16th century, Japan's feudal lord and chief imperial minister, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, admired so much these highly prized jars believed to preserve tea leaves better than any other earthen vessels because of its valid moon shape. These jars were actually made in the northern provinces in the Philippines. The Japanese referred to it as A. Chawan, B. Wabisabi, C. Shizen, D. Ruzon Tsubo, E. Ohashi. Subo in Japanese is jar. The Japanese cannot pronounce 
the sound of letter L? The correct answer is D. Ruzon, as in Luzon jar. Ruzon subo. Now we know. No. <laughs> Thank you. Prof. Neil, go ahead. Pati ako ngayon ko lang nalaman. Ruzon. Okay? Kailangan ko mag-aral pa ng Philippine Arts. Okay? Ito yung huling tanong para sa akin, mula sa akin. Sa anong panguluhan unang nakaboto ang kababaihan sa Pilipinas? A. Emilio Aguinaldo B. Jose Laurel C. Sergio Osmeña D. Manuel Luis Quezon E. Manuel Rojas Hindi ko alam kung hugot lang yan. <laughs> Hindi alam ng mga kabataang Pilipino kung kailan unang bumoto ang kababaihan sa bansa. Siya ay ang unang presidente ng Philippine Commonwealth. Siya din ay ang kinikilalang ama ng wikang pabansa. Unang bumoto ang, mga, ang kababaihan sa bansa noong 1937. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Manuel Luis Quezon. Marla? What is the term used to describe the period between exposure to the virus and the onset of symptoms of COVID-19? A. Incubation period B. Contagious phase C. Symptomatic interval D. Infectious window E. Transmission point Seb! Letter A po. On average, it lasts 5.6 days but has been reported to be as quick as 2 days or as long as 12 days. This is the A. Incubation period. Key check. Thank you. Last question. This form is the three dimensions of length, width, and depth. A. Plane. B. Line. C. Point. D. Volume. E. Form. Actually, napakadali lang nito, no? Uh, ito yung expanse ng access natin ng X, Y, saka Z. Ang tamang sagot ay volume. Letter D. Alright, thank you so much, Prof. To and to all our experts. Okay, that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Alec, our K-Check Daily Winner. We have, have a final winner. score of winner. 165 points. So we'll see him again on Friday when they compete with our other daily winners for a spot in our <laughs> semi-finals. And of course, thank you also to Miguel, Seb, and Rain for joining us. And of course, to our panel of experts. Wala pa natin sila. Professor Neil, Professor Marla, and Professor To. Once again, I'm Jules Gia. And I'm Attorney Gavin Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check. K -check.